Chrome Remote Desktop is a free software that lets you access your computer from anywhere in the world safely and securely. If you ever wanted to set up a server or something like that, you can put the computer in one room and control it with this. The security is basically what you have for your Google account, so if you have 2FA, it'd be pretty hard for someone else to hack into your computer. Anyways, if this works for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's start the video. On your computer, you're gonna have to have a browser that is based off of Chromium, like Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Opera, or something like that. This is because we're gonna have to access the Chrome Web Store, which is only available for browsers that are based off of Chromium. I'm gonna be using Opera for this video, just open that up, and then go to remotedesktop.google.com. I'll leave a link in the description for this. Now click on access my computer at the bottom or at the top. It's basically the same thing. And you'll probably get something like this. It doesn't really matter. It works on all Chromium browsers. So just click continue anyway. And then after that, make sure you sign into the right Google account. Because this is what you're going to use to access your computer. Then go to the link in the description again for this extension. And we're going to be downloading this. So I'll just click on add to Opera. Now we're not done yet. We're going to have to go back to remotedesktop.google.com. You can just click on the extension and it will take you there. And now we can download the actual software. So to do that, you're going to have to click on the blue button there. And it'll download a file depending on what operating system you're on. So for me, I'm on Mac, it'll be a DMG. And then once I open that up, it'll just take me through a setup. It's pretty easy, so I'm just going to skip through all of that. And then once you're done with that, click on finish. And now you can move that to the trash, it doesn't really matter. And now we're going to X out of that and eject this. Now we can click accept and install. Now this part is probably the easiest, you gotta pick a name and a pin number, just for some extra security. Then I'm just gonna disable that and then choose something and click next. And if you're on a Mac, you're gonna have to give the software permission to you know record your screen and stuff. So go to settings and it'll automatically take you to this. Click on the lock and unlock it with your password. And then make sure Chrome Remote Desktop is turned on. And then you can click on the lock again. Now it's given access so it can actually share the screen. Now click next and you're done. Then it'll start up and you'll be able to access your computer from anywhere. Now I'm on my desktop computer running Linux. And to connect to your computer, you don't have to have a Chromium based browser. So you can use any browser, I'm just going to use Firefox. And then head to the same website and click on access my computer. Now you'll see your device here. All you need to do is click on it to connect to it. And then you need to enter the pin that you entered in before. Now once you connect to your computer, you'll see a message at the bottom saying your email is connected to your computer. This is probably there so if someone hacks your email or something like that, and they connect to your computer, you'll know that they're connected so you can maybe disable the software. Anyways, the main settings are at the right by clicking the arrow. Most of this is just basic stuff like full screen and disconnecting, but there are some cool settings like sharing your clipboard. So everything you copy on your computer will be sent to the remote computer and vice versa. You can also send basic commands like control alt delete to the computer just by tapping and I'm pretty sure that's only on Windows but it shows up like a menu with task manager and stuff like that. Another cool thing you could do is transfer files between both of the computers. Now this is super useful and it's much easier than just emailing the files which is a lot slower and it might lose quality if you're sending images and stuff like that. If you're going to transfer a folder you'd have to zip it but that's not really that hard to do. Now I'm going to quickly show you what the mobile app looks like. When you connect to your computer on your phone, you'll see the three lines at the bottom right. You can tap on that, and you'll see these options. Now if you click show keyboard, it will show up with your iPhone keyboard or Android keyboard. But you won't have options like control and command, and what you'd see on you know your keyboard on your computer. There's also a touch mode where you can just use your finger to you know tap on stuff instead of moving the mouse. But for me, I like the trackpad mode better. There's also an option for settings, and the first one is resizing the desktop to your phone screen. So if you have this on, then the resolution will be the same as what your phone screen is. See my Mac is 4K, and my phone isn't, and there's also a bug where the mouse won't work unless this is on. So if your mouse isn't working correctly, just turn that on and it might fix it. But other than that, there's not many other settings that are worth mentioning. If this video is useful for you, consider leaving a like and subscribing so you never miss another video like this one.